Boys and girls, I'm the agri-man. To feed the world is my master plan. If you plant one tree, you could eat for free. This will guarantee food security. From field to farm, let's let it sprout. Soon we'll see and enter drought. Once we all grow what we need, soon the whole world we can feed. Agri-man, agri-man. <laughs> I am Alpha Senon from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean, and I'm the founder and executive director of a non-profit organization called Y Farm, and it means we help youth farm. So yeah, um, agriculture um, is, the, is the only source, or is the process by which humans consume food. From the, from the perspective of growing food on a farm, to harvesting this food on the farm, then processing the food, packaging the food, branding the food, retailing the food, distributing the food, and eventually the consumer consumes the food. But what people don't realize is that this food was once grown on a farm. They get it in a pack, but they don't think about the process that went through in order to be able to consume this food. So we say that you know, we try to get young people to understand the food when it leaves the farm gate till it reaches the man plate is the entire process of agriculture. And without agriculture, no one would be able to eat, no one will be able to live, no one will be able to survive. And that is the most important component of our daily, live, of our daily lives, food. Food, water. We don't, bunk that, we don't need clothes, we don't need shelter, but if you don't have food, you won't survive. And who do we need three times a day? We need a farmer three times a day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and all the snacks in between. And all these foods, it, it, is com it comes from where? One way or the other, it comes from the farm. By the year 2050, we would have approximately nine billion people on this earth. Who is going to feed us? The young people today, right? They are the ones that are going to grow up to be our future feeders. So at Y Farm, we realize that there must be an adventure to encourage youth in agriculture, starting with a main character who's branded as the world's most powerful food provider. And this is where we introduce Agriman. And Agriman would say this to the boys and girls. Boys and girls, I'm the Agriman. To feed the world is my master plan. If you plant one tree, you could eat for free. This will guarantee food security. From field to farm, let's let it sprout. Soon we'll see an end to drought. Once we all grow what we need, soon the whole world we can feed. Agri-man, agri-man. And there you have it. You know, we have introduced the world's first and only superhero for food and nutrition security to educate, motivate, and inspire our young people to grow up to be future feeders. At the career days in schools, no one is telling our kids to farm. We see doctor, we see lawyer, we see engineer, we see pilot, police. And where is the farmer? Who's, who's there to tell our children that agriculture is a profession? No one is there. My goal is to get Agriman to go to every single career day all over the world. And kids want to aspire to be this real superhero. And we have eventually introduced our female character as well. And her name is Photosynthesis Sister. And she's about to be born. She's going to be introducing our animation in three months' time. So in less than one year time, we were able to reach almost 18,000 people over the globe via social media, via speaking engagements, workshops, trainings, farm, farm visits, school tours. People came from all over the globe to actually see Agriman on our farm. We have been able to launch almost seven chapters of Y Farm all over the globe, um, five in Africa, Colombia, and Haiti, where we have young ambassadors who are now promoting the work of agreement throughout the globe.